Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, I'm gonna do something that I just barely thought of. I'm pretty pumped on it. In fact, this wasn't planned. This was just like we were sitting around editing some other stuff and I was like, bam, I got an idea, bam, vlog. Here we go. You guys remember the Porsche Razor, right? Let's put tracks on it, why not, right? Tracks and it's keys on the front. Most times when you put tracks on a UTV, you do tracks on the rear, tracks on the front. I think we're gonna steal the skis off the timber sleds. Yeah. Put them on the front of this and see what the Porsche Razor does with skis and tracks. And we're probably gonna have to put studs in the tracks for extra traction, so buckle up. You know your machine's fast when it's so low that the jack won't even fit under it. Alec, give me a little boost here. Yeah. Dip, dip, potato chip, dip, dip, potato chip, dip, dip, potato chip, dip, uh, dip, potato chip. Those are front tracks. We don't need front tracks. We're doing rear tracks. These bad boys are the rear tracks. Also, I have my backup making the marketing 101 video for you. So I hope you guys use the comments. Are you sure about that? Like YouTube beef with anybody yet? Like the YouTube beef? Do we like, beef? Should we call beef. someone out? Do you want to uh, fight? Oh, you're someone? talking like a like a like a Stradman Muslim diesel beef. Yeah. I don't think we have any beef yet. What is there? Do you have beef with us? Do we have any U beef yet? Okay. No, no other channels that we have beef. Hey. Beef with your mom! Ooh, whoa. Oh! His mom makes the best beef. <laughs> she actually does. Her name's Kitty. She has a little restaurant up in Idaho Falls. Mm. Oh, it is delicious. She treats you like family too. She fed me in hands, it was so sweet. I don't think we have any beef yet, dude. We might want to look into getting some beef. You're out there doing donuts in the old Porsche Razor and the spindle nut for the axle was... Not on very tight. Was just about to say YOLO. We bought it day, 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 I think the only person we have YouTube beef with is Van. Like Van, my friend? Like Van who works for us? Oh, yeah, like marketing guy. Van. Why does he got beef? He just doesn't like our YouTube game, man. I got an idea. Van drives a Tesla. Van's leaving town to go speak at a conference soon. You know what I, you know what I do to people I got beef with? He's not gonna like this. I'm gonna figure out a way to put tracks on Van's Tesla while he's out of town. He's gonna come back from the airport to pick up his car at the office and it's gonna be sitting on tracks. Let's go. He's very anal too. Uh, do you want me to call yeah, more yeah, Jeezy yeah. right now? Yeah, call more Jeezy. Tell me you don't want to. All right. All right, I'll talk to you later. Uh, sure what do you know how YouTube works? YouTube is what is a YouTube beef? <sighs> it's like somebody on YouTube that we've got beef with. Apparently we've got YouTube beef with Van. Van Oaks? Yeah. Speaking of Van Oaks, more Jesus on it. Hey, more Jesus on it? You called him? Hey. I called him. First track is going on now. It's supposed to snow here in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. So if we're able to get these tracks on, tracks are easy. The front skis are what's going to take a second. But if we can get the skis on by tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we're going right. It's not supposed to just snow. It's 100% chance of dumpage. It's over 9,000! What 9,000? The weatherman said, put it all on black. If it doesn't snow, he, he loses the job. He says, if I'm wrong, smack my ass and call me Sally. And so Please. we're prepared to do either. Have a fun snow day or smack his ass. <laughs> I love tracks on anything. Track vehicles are my jam. 100%. Whoa! Bro. Bro, that works so much better than I expected it to. Holy shit, this is gonna be sick with skis. We gotta get those skis. So check this out. Uh, I'm gonna run the skis off of my timber sleds. It's a, it's a motorcycle that turned into like a snowmobile kit. And the front skis are big, so they have plenty of flotation. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. <laughs> it looks like a like a minotaur. Um, minotaur? Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my I gotta pull these skis off my timber sleds because they, they're perfect uh, for the razor. Take it over to the shop and build some adapters because this spindle needs to adapt onto the front uh, steering hubs on the razor, but this is gonna work. And this is gonna work well. You saw how well it worked just right there. I mean, the thing is, tracked vehicles are usually uh, four wheel drive. 
This is rear wheel drive, so it's gonna have less traction. I might put some snow studs in the tracks. We'll get that extra bite. But damn, that's, I mean, I think we're onto something. I mean, here's the thing. I have a build show on TV, which is all we do is build stuff. Obviously, my YouTube channel, we're gonna build stuff too. We're gonna consolidate the process just because I would rather show you the end result rather than the build. That's not what this channel is about, but we will show some, some of the build. Otra locura de este. <laughs> locura. Puras locuras. I think it's rad. What? I think, do we have spindles outside for one of these? The next day. What makes a tracked razor even cooler? Snow spikes on the tires. The plan today is to test out. We're gonna go test out the snowmo razor. Normally, UTVs, when you put tracks on them, they look like this right here, like tracks in the rear, tracks in the front, like my ATVs. This bad boy right here, we got big old tracks on the rear and we threw timber sled skis on the front. I've never driven anything like this and I'm freaking pumped. <laughs> I also just threw, for good measure, some spikes, some studs right there. You see those in the tracks for a little extra traction on the ice. Dude, this is going to be nuts. So taking this right up along the top of those mountains right there. There's a, uh, there's a device up there called a snow tail that reads the snow depth. And it's reading that there's like roughly 40 inches of snow, three feet, four inches. Anyways, we got the rig loaded up. It's gonna be one last hoorah for night train because remember that truck right there, we just barely chose the winner. And so we're gonna take it on one last run and then it's shipping out to the winner. Ryan Statton, you're the one that won that. You already know that though. Anyways, guys, we are off to the mountain. Let's see how this goes. Later. <laughs> base of the canyon here getting ready to head up the canyon road is about nine miles up, uh, it's about 10 miles of the cabin we got two ATVs on tracks and we got the Polaris Razor on tracks and skis uh, finishing up putting the uh, studs in the tracks here comes Diesel Dave and his Razor he's got the uh, big snow tires on it That is the breather for our clutch. Well, it's getting a lot of powder in there. Powder turns to water, which in turn makes the clutch slip. So we got to figure out, put a piece of cloth or something over it. This is the brake caliper and it's not supposed to do that. And it's hot.
I don't. I don't know if I have any. I might have one at the cabin. Dude, this has. I, I'm I'm absolutely freaking blown away right now. This razor works so much better than I thought. However, we did just blow the belt to pieces. You can see there's little chunks along the trail right there, but I know what happened. The problem is they took the belt breather hose off of this because they didn't need it for the poor stuff. However, we needed it for this. So we plugged the hole with a glove. Well, the glove got clogged with snow and the belt got hot. And now we, we are beltless. Porsche Razor does really well in the snow. What doesn't do well in the snow are hot belts. And uh, I forgot to put spare belt on the machine and I don't have the, well, basically we need a belt. But the good news is the machine does way, way better than I was expecting. So once we find a belt, which I thought I had one stashed here at the cabin, but I don't. But when I find one, we're back in business. Also, what are you doing, bro? You came up here like you were going to the freaking mall. <laughs> like you were going to get, going to, you literally look like you're going to the mall. So Murph dog right here. Hey, we didn't discuss that. I, like I have like four either. layers on. Everybody's like layered up in one piece suits. Murph man. <laughs> is. Shows up in a one piece. Nice uh, man. I don't even know what to say. I'm wearing two layers. <laughs> Much later. What are you doing down there, Dave? Just taking off the cover for the for the belt. <laughs> yeah. Taking off the belt. Oh man, I got floppy when it came out. <laughs> they call me one chain. Much, much later. Well, this is my old filter, which is also a glove. I'll tell you what's oh, going to not gone. be awesome is how they, the way they did this frame here. It's a very Porsche thing to do is to put nuts and bolts behind unmovable objects. Hey man, that's not nice to say. He's doing this for clickbait, everyone. <laughs> I wonder if they ever... What you see here is a man struggling in the wild, alone with his beast in the wilderness, in the cold tundra, fighting the elements, trying his best to save his beast. Will he survive? Will he succeed in his mission? There's only one way to find out. And that's to subscribe right here. Smash the subscribe button, keep him alive. Behold this day. Well, yes, I will. <laughs> what did we do wrong? <laughs> he just went from bad to worse. The old uh, clutch puller oh. spreader tool just um, well, it broke off inside the clutch. Which is never really a good thing. It's actually one of the worst things. Help us! Tell you one thing, that's not what your belt's supposed to look like. Yeah, it's not happy. Yes! Clean? <laughs> so that's what's left of our drive belt. What's crazy is, show them the new belt. This is what, uh, what it's supposed to look like. It used to look like. Putting a, a belt back on a razor without a belt spreader is, um, it's a good time. Great. Hey, you know what? It's a Polaris. It was a razor. <laughs> we were going to try to, uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> we were going to try to fix it, but we don't have the right tools. Ta-da! Pretty standard procedure day for us. We took the Porsche Razor up along with the four wheelers and everything was working great. The Porsche Razor was doing awesome except for the ventilation for the clutch belt was not sealed up correctly. The water started getting in there. So we capped it off, which then caused the belt to overheat. When the belt overheated, 
it blew up. We didn't have any spare belts. That was that was my bad. That was 100% just us not being prepared. Did not. I thought, normally I take machines that have belts strapped to them. Well, the machine that we took did not have a belt strapped to it, which meant we're 10 miles up the mountain with no belt. So now I'm down here at the truck. Just load up the four-wheeler, gonna go to the shop, jump in the helicopter, grab a belt, fly back up, land, or just fly by and throw a belt at the guys, go to get the machines off the mountain. This is this is this is pretty much the way things go with us. One thing always leads to another. It leads to another, which usually leads to getting rescued by the helicopter. Which is what we're doing now. Good times. Meanwhile. See what happened is we sheared off the last spreader tool right there. That's what that little remnant is. Then we threw a cover bolt on the other side, but it wasn't quite long enough. So I went up to the wreckage up the hill. Turns out they had another tool in their toolkit. So while they're digging theirs out, I stole their tool and now I'm gonna try and fix this. Hopefully it's got the length we need, you know. Heavy D put it best. He said, nah, you always need that last extra inch. I don't know what he means by that. That's what he said. A few inches later. <laughs> this is what we need. Yeah, I think this is a really good sign right now. Really good sign. This tool goes in and spreads those that clutch out so you get the belt over. That was the technique we had to go with at the end. We went with the try and figure the puzzle out and then we ended with the pull really hard technique. Sometimes things break. Moments later. <laughs> this is from here, just a nice gentle hello. Hello. Sayonara, heavy D. We went to the pond, met with heavy D. He got us a belt, tow rope, a new spreader tool and some hope, then maybe we'll get off this mountain. Let's just, and no, we, we don't need the cover. Guess <laughs> <laughs> what, we just, we're going over this. <laughs> Put a belt on it, then why don't we just drive it as far as we can? Because <laughs> towing it. What's that? Three weeks later. Hey, good day, America. We got belts on both the razors. Four wheelers back to the bottom. Got the cabin locked up. Got no brakes. That's good. Cool. And we're gonna make it back in time for date night. Just as planned. Just as planned. Plus, I got to see a cool helicopter today. That was probably the coolest thing I've seen with the helicopter. Did in a you while. watch him dive off the end? Uh huh. Good. That means they watched the dive off the end. That looked gnarly. Well, guys, as you can see, what started out as a regular old trip up the canyon to show you what the Porsche Razor on tracks could do, well, it turned into quite the extravaganza. And to be honest with you, that's just kind of a normal day for us. And I love it when that kind of stuff happens because it gives us an opportunity to problem solve and do unique and abnormal stuff such as come back down the mountain, grab my helicopter, grab some spare parts, fly them back up there, drop them off, let the guys fix it, and then bring the machines back down off the mountain. So quite the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Now listen, guys, I have some very important news. We are almost to 250,000 subscribers. And when we get there, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna invite one of you subscribers out here to my hangar to pick any one of my Power Sports toys for free. You can take it home, it's all yours. And then for every 250,000 subscribers after that, I'm gonna do another big giveaway with a truck or a vehicle. And when we hit 10 million subscribers, I'm giving away a helicopter to one of you. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. So if you enjoyed the video, if you like free stuff, hit the button. If you didn't, don't subscribe, by all means. I'm not gonna have you join the party if you don't wanna be here. Um, also guys, I love it when you like and comment on the videos. We're gonna choose random winners to give you prizes every time we see somebody who's you know highly engaged in the channel. So if you want a chance to win just other cool stuff like remote control cars or other stuff, like the video, comment, stay tuned because ladies and gentlemen, party here, this channel is just getting started. Hope you guys enjoy.